With a growing number of adventure and point-and-click style games being on the PS4, it's a little bit hard to stand out, but there's a new one called Demetrios that tries to do just that. But is this a big win for the genre, or is it just a cynical catastrophe? Demetrios is a visual novel point-and-click adventure style of game, where you'll have a variety of dialogue choices as well as inventory style puzzles that are plentiful in order to try to progress through it. The game story, which I won't spoil much about, has you playing as a French antique dealer named Bjorn. He gets drunk one night, comes home, and ends up getting robbed, and trying to figure out who robbed him, why they robbed him, and what they took, ends up setting forth the adventure that will take place in multiple different countries as you're trying to figure out exactly why these items were stolen and why they're important. Throughout the course of the adventure, you will meet a colorful cast of characters, some that will aid you, some that will end up hurting you, and some that are just kind of plain weird. The game is called the Big Cinema cynical adventure, and it lives up to that name in its writing. It's very cynical, it's snarky, and even crude at times. In fact, you get an option to even tone down the crudeness if you want to do so. For the most part, the gameplay has you looking at a screen with various items on it and plenty of things to interact with, which will give you little quips here and there, as well as the other characters that you'll get to talk to. You'll be finding items to hopefully add to your inventory, sometimes combining them, in order to use them on other items and thus being able to progress or paying off someone so you'll be able to get some information to help you progress in a different part. The game actually has a lot of deaths potentially in it if you end up clicking on the wrong items or doing the wrong thing during dialogue choices, which I do appreciate because too many adventure games nowadays have no possibility of game overing. There's plenty of really funny potential deaths and other game overs you're able to get because of this, including just sticking your finger in random electrical sockets or sticking your hand into a blender. There's even UFO abductions included, and the deaths in the game, the game overs, count as a collectible. The other main collectible is the cookies. Every screen in the game has three cookies for you to find, and these actually work as hints. So if you end up getting stuck, you can eat a cookie, and it'll help you be able to kind of figure out what you should be doing or what items you should particularly be looking for. These cookies are really well hidden and you have to be really on them when you're moving the mouse pointer around so that you'll be able to click on these items and be able to get them. The game is broken up into six different chapters. There's no multiple endings or anything like that, but there's a decent amount of replayability when it comes to finding all those game overs and all the cookies. And you can do a chapter select to go back to see if you're able to find certain things. Though there is a glitch where if you end up doing chapter select, any cookie you got prior to that chapter select ends up disappearing. So keep that in mind if you're trying to get all the trophies. Throughout the course of the game, you'll also have to complete a few mini-games here and there, most of which are very laxed in their difficulty in order to get certain items, like a claw machine, or fishing, or even a horse race and worm race that basically just amounts to mashing the button in the right rhythm. These minigames can actually be unlocked for you to do as many times as you like. You can buy them along with artwork and music as well as just a nice little added addition. From the technical side of things, like I mentioned earlier, there is a potential glitch with the collectibles and the cookies, and I also ran into a few other glitches here and there where the game flat out crashed on me on at least four to five different occasions, so I do recommend saving often manually. The game will auto-save, but you also get the option to manually save, which I do recommend. I also noticed a few other times where the game kind of got stuck. I wasn't able to click on any items and had to go back to the menu and reload my save. Demetrios the Big Cynical Adventure is available now on the Vita and PlayStation 4 for $9.99, and it is a cross-buy, so if you buy it on one, you get it on the other, featuring a full trophy list including a platinum, and it's two separate trophy lists, one on Vita and one on PS4, and they're both very easy platinums if you do decide to use a guide, and even without it, as long as you're trying to find all those game overs and cookies, you should be able to obtain it. Overall, there's a lot of adventure games on the PS4. Demetrios is another decent one that's thrown in. The writing overall is enjoyable if you're into this kind of humor. The art style, though, will not be for everyone, including myself. I thought it would be ugly at times. With everything said, though, I'm going to be giving Demetrios, the big cynical adventure, a 7 out of 10. But anyway, guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I'd like to thank you for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.